you can see, I've got a trash oh! team. In fact, that's an understatement. I don't have any players at all. But what I do have is a plan. On this beautiful wheel right here, we have the top 25 college football programs. If you got beef with the teams that are on there, it's the AP top 25. Okay, so go yell at them. I'm gonna spin this wheel to fill in my squad, but there's a catch. I can only fill each position once. So if I get Oklahoma State and I choose Mason Rudolph as my quarterback, and then on the next spin I get Oklahoma, I can't replace Mason Rudolph with Jalen Hurts or Kyler Murray. I'm stuck with my pick. Now for wide receivers, I will get two wide receivers, one tight end. I can take O-line as I please. And the same thing with defense. So the player that we choose, we gotta be strategic here. And I'm giving myself 15 spins. So any positions I don't fill are gonna get a gold or a silver. All right, our first player, I feel like I shouldn't take quarterback right now unless I get like the player of my dreams. Let's see, we got, ooh, Arkansas? Oh, <laughs> almost started out with Michigan State. Arkansas. Call me MM casual all you want, but I don't know every single Arkansas player off the top of my head. So I'm looking online. 80 overall Frank Ragnow is not a bad option. Ooh, we can also go 87 overall Hunter Henry. That's a good pickup. Although I feel like we got to take the obvious choice here. Everybody already knew I was going to go Felipe Franks. This must be a typo. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a 99 overall, but they've got him here at a 73. No shocker on this one. Yeah, I just did that shit. Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop? I, I literally don't know a single thing about this guy. In fact, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name. What's wrong with you? That's how we're starting out. Give me a top. Ooh, I wanted a top five team. Although I don't mind Ole Miss at all. I could get DK. Ah, ah. Wake Forest? Yo, there's some good options already. I see Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates is insane. Jesse Bates is literally the only reputable option from Wake Forest. Jesse Bates, thank you for going to Wake Forest. You saved my video. In fact, I think that's why Jesse Bates went to Wake Forest. He was watching one of my videos one day and he said, wow, Wake Forest is looking real thin. It would be a bummer if Papa Moon's got Wake Forest on the wheel spin. I should probably go there. Jesse Bates, I appreciate you for that. All right, top five team, baby. I need a stud running back, a stud wide receiver. It's not negotiable. And see, State? I gotta stop. I gotta stop judging. I gotta stop judging these teams because I just don't know who's been there. Bradley Chubb. Ikka Maquanu. They've got studs. Jermaine Pratt. Okay, they have a ton of studs on like a million different places on the ball. You know who they have though? But Naheem Hines went to NC State and you know why Naheem Hines is insane in this game? It's kind of dope because this Naheem Hines is like the Campus Heroes promo too, which is really cool for the colleges. I think Naheem Hines is one of the only running backs in the game who gets backfield master. He has backfield mismatch and you can give him running back apprentice in tier two. Well, we can't put any abilities on our quarterback, so we might as well go Naheem Hines here. 87 Naheem Hines, 87 Jesse Bates. This is going really well. Give me a top five team so I can get a absolutely insane wide receiver. Miami, BYU, you can get Zach Wilson. You can have sex with your mom. I can become a Mormon. There's nothing in the Book of Mormon that says you can't have sex with your best friend's mom. I really shouldn't go down the religion path, should I? Yeah, I really shouldn't do you ever had someone walk up to you in the middle of the street and they go wow you smell incredible can i please smooch you right on the lips well that's never happened to you you probably don't use dr squatch dr squatch is sponsoring today's video i've worked with them forever and there's a reason they make the best natural men's hygiene products on the planet their signature item are their bars of soap such as this right here, my personal favorite, the pine tar. There's hundreds of scents. They all smell amazing. Come on, man. And they're actually natural. I've got tons of scents here too. Birchwood Breeze, Bay Rum, Fresh Falls, Moon Rock. Yeah, you heard that right. Here's my challenge to you. Get yourself a bar of Dr. Squatch soap. And I think just like myself, you're never gonna go back to any other product because they're that good. I want you to shoot me a DM and tell me what you liked better. And of course, when you do that, I have a discount for you. There's a link in the top of the description. Make sure you click that. Then use the code DSQMMG to get 20% off on orders of $20 or more. Take advantage of the offer. Check it out. They're the best and enjoy the rest of the video. Off the dome piece, literally the only player I can think of for BYU is Zach Wilson. But I know they've had a lot of studs. Zach Wilson, Jamal Williams, Fred Warner. Are you kidding me? Fred Warner is probably the move here. Taysom Hill also went to BYU. But I think Fred Warner is the move. Fred Warner is one of the best users in the game. This is my account where no matter what I do, Fred Warner's card art will not load. No matter what I do. Regardless of whether his picture exists or not, Fred Warner did go to BYU. All right, user middle linebacker, free safety, running back, quarterback. 
I would take Florida because Kyle Pitts went to Florida, right? Please tell me Kyle Pitts went to Florida. Marcus May, McPherson, Keanu Neal. They had Damian Pierce. Yeah, they have Kyle Pitts. I feel like, like realistically, how are we going to get a better tight end than Kyle Pitts? It would not be easy. I, I really think Kyle Pitts is the move here. Kyle Pitts is such a good tight end. Even as a core lead, 85 overall, he's got 84 speed. So this will be our tight end right now. So we got Naheem Hines, Kyle Pitts, Felipe Franks. I wanted to make this a challenge on myself, okay? I wanted to dick around today. Right now, I'm thinking corners, edge rushers, and wide receivers is kind of what we've got left. Looks like we might get Oklahoma! Okay, so I can't get Jalen Hurts or Kyler, which is what I really would have wanted at quarterback. Mark Andrews went to Oklahoma. Damn! You could get Hollywood Brown. We could get offensive line. Creed Humphrey's actually a really good offensive lineman. I could get Trent Williams. Dude, this is actually an insane option to get Trent Williams because probably the best left, he is the best left tackle in the game. 88 overall Trent Williams. Williams, Oklahoma. I don't think we're going to get another excellent opportunity at a stud O lineman like that. So I think we got to take him when it's available. Well, I went in with a plan and I did not get a player from my plan, but that's okay. Utah? I think that's Utah. I'm sniping it. Yep. Utah. Who is in the league from Utah? Julian Blackman, Garrett Bowles, Jalen Johnson. Does he have a good card? Devin Lloyd, Eric Rowe, Marcus Williams. Eric Rowe has an 87 overall strong safety from Utah. That is a massive clutch. Massive clutch. All right. Hey, that's huge for us, actually. Having Eric Rowe right there is going to help a lot. So we got Jesse Bates up high, Eric Rowe up high. We're going to get Baylor. Xavier Howard. Ooh. I feel like Xavier Howard's the obvious pick up here. We just kind of built like the Dolphins secondary, but Xavier Howard is an 86 overall corner. That's our first corner on the team. I forgot to deactivate these teams along the way, but there's no double ups on the teams either, but Southern California, USC, Drake London, Michael Pittman, Juju Smith-Schuster, Amonra St. Brown, Robert Woods. Holy shit. WRU, bro. Robert Woods, Amonra, Juju, Michael Pittman. I feel like Pittman's probably the move. I feel like he has the best card here. Pittman's got an 80 87. Yeah, that's certain that that's the move, but what's Juju's cards looking like? Ooh, Juju's got an 87? Dude, this is actually savage. This summer, I got to hang out with Juju. He's an incredible fucking guy, so I'm just gonna pull the bias card here. I'm, I'm taking Juju. I knew he went to USC. He also has a baked-in ability. What is it? Outside apprentice. Juju Smith-Schuster. Edge rushers, wide receivers. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, we were so close to Georgia. We're not gonna get it. Oregon, though. Oregon does have some studs. Absolutely. Kayvon Thibodeau was Oregon, but I I feel like I don't want a linebacker. I feel like I want... I could put Kayvon Thibodeau as an edge rusher. He was an edge rusher in college. So it actually almost makes more sense that way. DeForest Buckner. Ah, there's way too many good options here. Thibodeau, Sewell, DeForest Buckner, Eric Armstead. My Lions bias wants me to take Panay Sewell. I'll tell you why I'm taking Panay Sewell. I think Eric Armstead and DeForest Buckner are awesome picks too. But Panay Sewell, this is actually his campus hero card with the Oregon patch on it. Like, that's just so much cooler. So I'm running with this. I'm happy to have it. All right, not gonna lie, I'm losing track of how many players I've already got. Reset. Oh, our first top five. Our first top five is Ohio State. I will take that any day over the University of Michigan. Woo! Ohio State has literally so many studs in so many positions. I could do anything I want. Honestly, I could do anything I want. This list is so massive. Right off the dome piece, I'm thinking Chase Young as my edge rusher. Cameron Hayward, I could get interior D-line. Marshawn Lattimore, I could get another corner. I kind of feel like I do need a second corner. Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, bro. I could get a wide receiver. I feel like after Michael Thomas's week one performance, he probably should have gotten a new card. Ooh, Denzel Ward too. There's so many good options. No, you know what? I can't be stupid here, guys. I can't be stupid. I have zero D-line. Zero D-line. Not to mention, guess what, baby? It makes me so much happier to get him when they have this patch on it. This is the campus hero, Chase Young. He's got the Ohio State patch on him. I remember him when he was in the Big Ten. He was a horrifying guy to play against. He was, he was like the most surefire draft talent I've seen in a long time. All right, boys, Chase Young off the edge. I still only have one wide receiver and one corner, so I feel like we kind of got to focus up there. Is this going to go to Kentucky? Kentucky. All right, I know off the dome piece, the athletic Josh Allen went to Kentucky, but that's one of the only players I know. I think the move here is Josh Allen. Now that I think about it, he may not be an edge rusher, but Josh Allen is a linebacker, and I only have one linebacker right now. Kentucky has blessed me with not gritty Josh Allen, guys. I'm talking the athletic one. This Josh Allen right here. Beautiful. Dude, I want to get a legend player, but I got to stop being a casual and actually, like, look uh -huh. up the legends players. Oh, I'm going to get... Ah! Let's go! 
Whoa. All right. About a billion options. Literally about a billion options here. About a billion. Probably a billion legend options too, right? So Georgia. We get number one Georgia. Hilariously, we actually could go George Pickens. George Pickens has an 87 overall wide receiver. You know what I'm doing for the memes here? Bringing out the Black Air Force energy. George Pickens. And look at that. He's got matchup nightmare, bro. They're in on the fucking meme. They're all doing the meme with us. They know it. Let's take a look at the lineup before we do our final two spins. Figure out what we need the most. So we're actually at 85 overall. Granted, I haven't filled the other positions, so that overall is not accurate. The edges of my line are really good. Left tackle, right tackle is nice. Kyle Pitts, love it. George Pickens, Juju, sick. Naheem Hines, amazing. And uh, Felipe Franks. I'm a fucking idiot. Why did I do that? <laughs> Defense, Josh Allen, Incognito, Fred Warner, Jesse Bates, Eric Rowe, edge rusher, Chase Young, and Xavier Howard. I think a corner two, a corner two, and a right end is probably priority. All right, boys. We got one of two spins to get a corner and an edge rusher slash interior O-line. It's Miami. All right, Miami. Now, Miami is an incredible historic team. Frank Gore, there's Andre Johnson, Ted Hendricks, Michael Irvin, Warren Sapp, Ed Reed. Reed. Okay, so this team's like insane. Ray Lewis. None of those players are in Madden right now. Gotta roll with the punches here. Let's see what our actual options are. Greg Rousseau, Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips I like a lot. Without having Ray Lewis and Reed or any of those legends, I'm kind of thin here. We're gonna take Calais Campbell. I said I want a right end. I can get a right end right here. 84 overall Calais Campbell. He's nothing special, but this is what happens when it comes down to the final picks. Final spin. I need a corner so badly. Who's gonna have a corner for me? Texas A&M? Pitt? Pitt, are you really gonna have? I feel like they're not. I feel like there's no way. Oh my god, they have Aaron Donald. Ah! They have Tyler Boyd, James Conner, Aaron Donald. Wow. Some studs. I feel like we gotta go best player available. Like, I could go Avante Maddox, but how am I gonna take 80 Avante Maddox when Aaron Donald went to pit, bro? I got, I gotta take Aaron Donald. I gotta take Aaron Donald. Let's go Aaron Donald. So, Calais Campbell actually go to D-tackle, which is kind of fitting for him anyway. I feel like he is kind of more of a defensive tackle than an edge rusher. Oh, wow! Wait a minute. So, I don't have a corner two at all. But we did load up on defense with those final two spins, so I can't say I'm unhappy. All right, boys, 15 spins. Building our team using just the college wheel. We ended up with Trent Williams, Panay Sewell, Kyle Pitts, George Pickens, Felipe Franks, Naheem Hines, Juju Smith-Schuster, Jesse Bates, Josh Allen, Fred Warner, Eric Rowe, what? I chase young kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calais Campbell, Aaron Donald, and Xavier Howard. I, I actually love this team. This is a pretty nasty team. I think it's gonna be really fun to play with. All right, I'm gonna fill all the required slots with just the shitty gold or silver. We don't have to go crazy here. All right, so let's give Naheem Hines running back apprentice now that our team is ready. So we can give him hot routes. I say we just go edge threat on both sides and hope we get some nasty pass rush. That way we won't have to rely on our corners as much. Oh, darn it. Aaron Donald doesn't get edge threat. I guess I'll just make Fred Warner good. And then edge threat on Chase Young. Absolutely. We'll also give him unstoppable force. Chase Young is so good. We built an 80 overall team from spinning the wheel of college teams teams. Felipe Franks is my quarterback. Let's go win a ball game. Top three. I've got Chase Young, Nike Mines, and George Pickens is up on the top three. Joe Mixon. Oh my God. He's got Carl Banks with Michigan State. He's got Carl Banks. Oh, he's got Mariota too, dude. He's got his own little Campus Heroes lineup in there. Nope. Same thing. Fred Warner's right. Dude, that Fred Warner's so good. Okay. Play action, right? Oh my God. He runs it again. He's stuffed. Look at us. Oh, he just throws a short one to Kyle Pitts. Damn, we could have got a turnover right there. Josh Allen's my user. Oh, that's a bad time. Hey, Josh Allen's there, though. We're all over it. Ah, I'm on Roy. I'm not supposed to be on Roy, but I am. And he's going to get a laser beam because I'm using the wrong guy. That sucks, man. Oh, right here, right here, right here. I know you want to. <gasps> I need Lurker so bad. I need Lurker so bad. Oh my God. If I have Lurker, that's a touchdown. Oh, he's going to run the ball. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Let's go. Oh no. It's a handoff off the middle. Fred Warner's there. Everybody's there. I might have missed a Fred Warner actually, but. Shut it off. Fred Warner. Oh, no way. Oh my God. Let's go, dude. He could have ran that in. Dude, he got spooked. He got spooked. All right. Hey, let's go. We're going to start out with the play action game. I'm most likely going to hit Naheem Hines. 
Felipe Franks goes down to Derrick Brown. No good. Let's establish the run game. Naheem Hines the left side running behind Trent Williams. Amazing blocks. Trent Williams cut inside. See, this is how you run a play action game right here. Naheem. Naheem. Yes, sir. That's why you run backfield master right there. Felipe Franks one for one. 14 yards, baby. I expect this to set up really nicely, especially with Trent Williams, baby. Hey, good tackle by his user. Still four yards. Uh, but I have oh stay up oh my goodness Naheem yeah I don't have interior O line though so I'm not really getting blocks there why am I killing him so bad with this sort of does I'm throwing wide Pickens menace Felipe Franks throwing a perfect ball game right now a simple Naheem Hines throw oh my god wait oh close to the end zone Felipe Franks is three for three for 50 yards <laughs> no Oh, that was perfect, but I didn't get a block from Trent Williams that time. Shit. Is he there? No. Naheem. Oh, no. Oh, we can't take a field goal, dude. We marched so far with Felipe Franks. I'm handing the ball off up the middle. Let's go, Naheem. Oh, I'm on the one. Shit, I should have dove. <laughs> okay, first and 10, though, from the one yard line. Let's get a blitz. Let's get a safety. Safety! Oh, no way. He just picked up six on that. That's a crime. Mine, 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 mine! Hey! Kendall Vildor! <laughs> we got that ball back. Let's go. Hey, we got ball half two. Look at this stifling defense from my, my gold corners. Okay, great blocks. Great broken tackle, Naheem, but it's not enough. George Pickens is going to run this deep corner route. He's going to torch his man for a touchdown. Let's go, George. Let's go, George! Let's go, George! Got him! Let's go! <laughs> Black Air Force cleats. Give them to him, bro. Wow. Could not have been any easier. Take an 8 0 lead, 19 seconds ball half. Let's get it. George Pickens. All right. I'm not even going to lie. We have set up like a pretty dominant run game here. I wouldn't be surprised if he bites on this again. Let's look for Kyle Pitts here, though. Oh, shit. Damn. Carl Banks gets a sack. Let's go halfback stretch. Second and 18. It's a risky play call, but I trust our run game. I'm going to send Pitts across this formation. No play action. Felipe's got to step up and go and fumble. All right, we picked it up. It's fourth and 11. But when Felipe sees a laser beam throw to Juju Smith-Schuster, he's going to take it and he's going to deliver. I can't fucking believe that worked. Yo, shout out my O-line for keeping that pocket for so long. Holy shit. Naheem. Oh, weird animation. Really weird animation. That could have gone so much better. Ah, it wasn't the same defense, but Naheem doesn't give a shit. It's so good. There goes Naheem Hines for another 14 yards. Kyle Pitts. Let's go. Same thing. Beautiful. Very bizarre animation, but I don't ask those questions. Let's go. Hey, PA Crossers touchdown now. Oh, no. Why? Oh, bad throw. No. Amazing throw. Look at that window. Look at Felipe Franks hit these fucking windows. Why is he playing perfect? Shit. I can't. Felipe. Oh. <laughs> Two sacks for Carl Banks kind of makes me sad, but... Carl Banks is killing me. It's pissing me off. Dude, field goal is low-key the move here. Field goal is the move, but you know who this is, right? Like, you guys understand this is Felipe Franks, right? This isn't your run-of-the-mill quarterback. This is Felipe Franks. Felipe Franks doesn't take field goals. He throws laser beams to George Pickens for touch. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. What a loser. He hasn't scored. He's not going to score now. Watch. I'm going to fake underneath here. Oh, he delivers a laser to McLaurin. I said I was going to guard the tight end and I gave up. Wait, he didn't get a first. Oh, he did. Okay, he hasn't done shit out of this formation. This one. Throw it. Damn, nice throw. Come on, boys. Not like this, gentlemen. Damn it. That's so unlucky. We need a big hit. Hey, we goal line stood him up last time. We'll do it again. First and goal. Be wary of the run. Be wary of the run, Eric Rowe. Let's go. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. Let's go. Third and goal. Hand off. Hand off. No. Mine! Mine! Eric Rowe! And we hold them up. Once more on the goal line. Can Eric Rowe house it? Eric Rowe can house it all the way. Let's go. Please don't quit. Please don't. Please. I want to see my stats. No. I want to see my Felipe Frankster. Ah!
Dude, this video has been so sick. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't made a video like this in a long time, like a straight up spin the wheel. And I hope you guys enjoyed it because team building was an absolute blast. That was literally one of the most fun games I've played in a hot minute. That was awesome. Hey, shout out the squad, Felipe Franks. I think every single one of our players made a monster play. Yeah, because Juju Smith had that fourth down conversion from the nine yard line. Jesse Bates had early breakups. Eric Rowe with a pick. I just don't know if Aaron Donald did anything. Aaron Donald might've been the only guy who didn't do anything. All right, hey, I appreciate you boys for watching. As always, let me know if you like the video. Uh, I might want to do more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.